Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I am sitting at Bernina University 2012 with a brand new collection of machines, the Bernina 7 Series. This one here is the 780. Now, it is the top of the three new machines, and it has some amazing features, starting with the bobbin. Uh, the bobbin has been redesigned, taking everything that we've loved from the CB hook system and the rotary hook system, put them together, made a super big bobbin that's like 80% bigger than what we've been normally used to, and then took the machine and spread it out 10 inches. So with that, we've got all the tools, features in the machine, innovations that we're used to. Now this 780 is an embroidery machine and does have the Bernina stitch regulator with it. So it does have all the capabilities that so many of our machines have, but now on this wider platform. It does so faster, smoother, and they say quieter with the new bobbin system. So it does have the automatic uh, lowering of the foot when you step on the foot control. All three of these machines have the thread cutter, and it's just an amazing family of machines that have been brought to us, and we will have sometime in the fall these machines in our store for you to try out. Now at the 780, that is an embroidery and sewing machine. Now this is the Bernina 750. This would be like a souped up Bernina 440 or 550 that you might be used to already. Except now with the wider space inside the machine at 10 inches, the newly designed bobbin, the automatic thread cutter, yay, the nine millimeter size stitch width, all the things on the machine and embroidery is optional for this machine. So if you don't think you know if you want it just yet, but you're a quilter, this is a quilter's edition. So it is gonna come with your standard quilting feet and accessories, including the stitch regulator, which we all know and love, and we'll still continue to work on this machine, but now at the faster speed. So that's one thing that we've always wanted, and now you have it, especially with the new space. So if you add embroidery on, you do have some capabilities of some larger, longer embroidery designs, working with a lot of the hoops that we already have. And this is the Bernina 710, a wonderful new machine that will complete the Bernina 7 series with a great selection of stitches, the wider throat space, and the faster running speed. So I am here with Sarah Caldwell, a good acquaintance from many years yeah. ago. Sarah is going to show us some new accessories that can go on the new Bernina sewing machines. So hi everyone, it's great to have you here. I'm going to show you today the latest from Bernina and it's all about painting. So what we've got is this great new tool and it's called Paintwork. And you simply take, you have a little kit here with four different tools. This is one that works with a pen we're going to use today. And we just simply place it in to our accessory, take our pen, place it in just like so. And this is going to be something we remove once we've got started. We're going to leave it down for now. Put our lid on the top so we don't lose it. Now I've got some fabric hooped up and you can use stabilizer if you want, but you won't for now. And I'm using, this foot is called foot number 93. And all I need to do is take away our guard and away I go. Now you're able to adjust your pen. You can move it thicker or thinner. At the moment, it's quite a thick line. We can actually make that line thinner by bringing the pen up higher or lower. So I can get a more shaded effect or I can get a heavier effect. So this is the perfect thing for someone who wants to actually create their own fabric or if they want to create um, a, just a decoration on an existing garment or a project that they have. It gives you instant gratification. It's really great. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. For those of you who uh, have the uh, cut work tool, do you want to tell them about kind of the collection? Okay, so we've got three different um, 
the tools in the design works collection there's the cut work there's paint work and there's also crystal work so you're able to make crystal templates and so these are available for some of their existing vending machines so here's our finished result you can see it's very easy to create a beautiful design in just a couple of minutes and imagine that as a as a fabric or a decoration So what I'd like to talk to you now about is the next wonderful thing from DesignWorks and it's all about crystals. So if you ever wanted to make your own crystal template, it's very easy using template material. And we're going to do a little design here to put in our little figure for the key ring. Now what I need is think about hole punches. So I've got the template. And I've got this little plate here. And this is the corresponding die pattern. And this is actually the one that I need for this particular design. So I'm going to stick this onto the machine. It's got a magnet. Did you make one? And this, this is attached where your needle goes. Now we just tighten that up and almost ready to go. Now I'm just going to attach the foot. This is a new foot that comes with the crystal tool and it's foot number 48 and it's higher up to compensate for the actual little carrier that's underneath. And I'm using standard um, parchment paper to attach my template material and I've cut it away around the hoop so it fits, doesn't get caught underneath. And you'll see it's hooped differently to our standard <laughs> machine embroidery, it's just like hand embroidery. So you do, don't want to blink because it takes very little time at all to do this. And we've just created a little outfit for our little keyring. We'll take it off the paper. And then we'll just take a piece of good old cardboard. And this fits onto the like so and here's our template for creating our crystals so now we've got our template and this is our our crystals and you just dump the crystals on top of your template and we just got it like brushing your teeth and miraculously the crystals fall into place <laughs> all up the right way look at that and there's your little outfit for your little earring. And then the last stage, it's just a matter of taking your transfer tape, and place it down, and now you've got, this is all ready to go to then attach on your so last night we started to bring you around my brush and 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 we just hold it down and press for around 20 seconds. Wait for that to cool down and then we can just peel it away. And this is actually reusable. You can use it several times, especially if you're doing a garment that needs a lot of crystals. 